Hi, welcome to a part for you video tutorials. This video tutorial is on an Ariston Ingus Indeset Neutral Tricity Bendix Whirlpool and White Knight Tumble Dryer. This video will show you the heating fault, also how to replace the heater and check the thermostats. What we suggest you do is let the machine run for a few minutes then you can either test for warm air inside the drum or on the rear vent hose feel if there's any warm air blowing if there isn't it's a good sign that there's a heating problem fault now on these machines there is a reset button on the rear which you can try you should feel it click if it needs resetting and then try the procedure again but now we'll carry on with stripping the machine down so we'll take the lid off first right what we'll do next is have a look at the wiring here you can see the wiring going onto the heater element three terminals one neutral and two live feeds going in it's a good idea to do a wiring diagram and also take a photograph so you can get all the wires back on the correct terminals when reassembling remember all these parts that we show you on this machine are available on our website now what we'll do is remove the back panel just showing you all the outer screws and in the center there we have three screws which attach to the spider which is part of the bearing system on the drum which will need to also be undone to remove the back panel here they are again once you've undone these the back panel will just come straight off right here we are with the heating system this is the inner thermostat which we'll test after and this is the reset thermostat which basically trips when it overheats these three brackets hold the element in place and there is one screw which we need to undo but we'll take the back panel off first which releases the element and another one slightly below it so turning it over working on a flat surface undo these four screws one in each corner once you've done that the panel will lift you'll just need to unclip the wiring again going back to your wiring diagram make sure you've got notes of where everything comes from right here we are undoing the screw which I was talking about earlier which holds the element in place it also holds a piece of wire in place which holds some of the wiring when fully assembled I'll show you that later in the video but once this screw is undone the back panel or inner back panel sorry uh, will lift off now what we'll do is show you the new element remember when you need parts on our website the easiest way of finding parts is to put your model number into the search bar and then it will give you a list of parts available if you can't find the parts that are available please don't hesitate to contact us now we're just removing the clips that support the element what we're doing here is testing the element the outer part of the element has no continuity or circuit and the inner part of the element has continuity therefore it has a circuit which means the inner part of the element will heat up but the outer part won't just showing you on a new element here both sides of the element have continuity so they both have circuits this means that the element would heat normally one of the common things you will find with this is that your tumble dryer was only heating uh, at half heat therefore taking a lot longer to dry the clothes than normal we're just putting the clips back onto this element before replacing the inner uh, back panel just line it up so you get all the screws to line up correctly with the holes 
and we'll just pop the top one in that holds the element in place with the wire that uh, keeps the wiring harness tidy. Make sure you fit this the same way as it came off. Now what we're going to do next is have a look at the thermostats. You have two types of thermostat on this. This is the inner thermostat. Just checking for continuity. That all looks good. So we have continuity in a circuit. Now we're going to show you the TOC, which is TOC, which is a thermal cutout, sometimes called the reset thermostat. Again, testing this. And this one's got continuity, so we have a circuit. Again, both of these thermostats are available on our website. And we're just going to tuck the wiring in. This is about the trickiest job uh, of when reassembling these fitting the inner back panel to the outer back panel with the element because the screws have got to come up through the actual outer back panel through the inner back panel and then into the element brackets which I'll show you more closely the easiest way I find of doing this is resting it on the edge of a worktop and then you can actually see the screw coming up through the two panels and into the bracket I'll show you closely the bracket in a second. Remember there are three of these you need to do up. This is the correct way that they are fitted. They basically space the element and hold it in place and then there's one last screw at the top underneath the heater. You can see us putting that in in a second. Here's the screw coming up through. Again, that piece of wire where my fingers are at the moment holds the wiring harness in place. And when you connect up all the wiring, make sure you put the wiring in a way that it's not going to rub on any components when reassembled. Again, going back to your picture, which I told you to take originally, would be a good idea. There you go, just pushing it down neatly, connecting up the last wire onto the terminal block. What we'll do next is line up the bearing spider to the back panel. Make sure inserting the three screws into the spider before you actually attach the back plate to the chassis of the machine. You'll find it much easier. After you've finished doing these up, what you have to do next is attach the back plate to the chassis. Now remember, at a part for you, we sell all the parts for this appliance. Everything from the belt, timer, motor, capacitor, heater, thermostats and so on. Again, just put your model number into the website and you'll get a full list of parts available. Now we'll just connect the wiring. Again, remember to refer to your wiring diagram or photograph. I'll make sure the earth's connected. Just connecting the earth there. And make sure you leave all the wiring tidy. Just putting the lid back on. And next we'll test the machine. Just popping the screws in. Remember, with tumble dryers, it is a very good idea when using the machine to always let it have its 10 minute cooling down period and always make sure the fluff filter is kept clean as this is what allows the air to flow through the machine, therefore stopping it from overheating. After a few minutes now, the machine has reached temperature and now we're getting hot air coming through the machine on the rear vent pipe and you can put your hand into the drum and we've got nice hot air there. There you go. We hope you enjoyed this video and remember to shop at a part for you as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. Thanks for watching.